Wait. Mm. You got some paper? Wait. <laughs> yeah, girl, you need a piece of paper? I, just, I, wanna, I don't want to. Oh. <sighs> all right. She made me do it. Get, get, get all those <laughs> chews out. <laughs> ah, sweet, sweet chews. Uh. Got them and get them out before. Hey, Wham Fam, it's your girls, Caroline and Molly. Back and better than ever, we're two co-workers turned best friends who want to wake up and bake our faces with you. If you're looking for fellow makeup enthusiasts who are ready to share mm, unprofessional makeup looks and tips, talk about our favorite products, and chat about life, you've found the right place. So come get ready with us every Wednesday and Friday with Wake and Make. It's your girls, Molly and Carol, here for our very first podcast episode. Very first one. How you feel? I'm nervous. I feel like we have talked about this so much. I know. We have been planning this for weeks. Since the first day we ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. But... It's a long time coming. I'm excited. I am too. We uh, were makeup enthusiasts. Yes, makeup enthusiasts, but not makeup professionals at all whatsoever. <laughs> we're not experts. Uh, we're not experts. We're not Instagram glam queens. We are just normal girls who bonded first, I say, over makeup. How do you feel about it? I feel great. I'm, I think that over the past 24 hours, you've experienced my extreme trepidation with equipment. <laughs> Um, I have been very nervous about just the tech side of everything, but being in just, I almost said being in the studio, being in your house <laughs> and, uh, just getting it rolling feels, feels good. feels natural. I feel like we do this all the time anyway. So true. Yeah. So our, um, this glamorous studio that we have here in my house Br brought to you by little Molly Walker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The, uh, uh, we've got our mics, um, we've got some cameras set up uh, in the Just sink <laughs> and there is a hair on that one. I can see it. It's fine. I think the cameras make me more nervous than the audio equipment. Same. Yeah. Just don't look at, don't look at yourself. It's fine. It's fine. Even though we're exists. fixing to put on makeup, it's good. I guess going into why we wanted to start this and kind of what you see our vision for this as just to explain to everyone, um, why a podcast and why, why this topic, why what we're doing. Do you want to go into your side of that? Sure. Um, kind of what we've already talked about. I mean, we're both super into makeup. Um, we're both in the creative industry. That's kind of how mm -hmm. we met a few years ago. So really just, having fun with makeup. And I know we said it earlier, but we're just everyday people. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I mean, you do too. We watch a ton of beauty influencers, but sometimes those can just seem a little out of reach. Yeah. And we're just your everyday, your everyday gals, you know? Yeah. A hundred percent. And I, I think that part of this is, yeah, with makeup, there's an inherent visual effect to it too. Like you don't expect to make a podcast, mm -hmm. but I think that's something that is kind of lacking is that we all don't have the opportunity to just pull up YouTube and stream from work on our phones, but most of us can put in headphones and listen to a podcast. So Absolutely. it's kind of nice that you can tune in, maybe hear some YouTube drama, maybe hear some celebrity, celebrity drama, um, maybe even just, just random things. But I, I like my vision for part of the podcast is Something that I really enjoyed in life is getting ready with my friends, whether it's like going out to eat, going out to a club, just college life in general, getting ready for work in the morning. So just the bonding experience that the girls, the gays and theys all have over makeup and yeah. getting ready is something that I really love and I am excited to journey into it with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked. You know what I just realized? What? We didn't even say the name of our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, first episode, guys. Here it is. Wake and Make <laughs> Podcast. We are Wake and Make, your girls, Caroline and Molly. <laughs> Restart the whole thing. Restart. Welcome to Wake and Make, everyone. Since obviously um, you might have gotten three minutes in and we didn't say anything. <laughs> We didn't say the we name. Promise we don't know what we're doing. 
We actually have no clue. We we just, you know, we got some mics, plug them in. <laughs> we just really want to put on makeup. That's really, honestly, we just want to monetize the fact that we talk all day. <laughs> <laughs> True. Absolutely. Let's talk about what's going to be included. What can our listeners expect? Literally expect nothing. We are failures. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you to expect anything from us. It's not going to ever happen. Um, just kidding. What nice. you can expect from us is um, fun makeup content, something to listen to when you're getting ready in the mornings. Um, each episode, we're going to try to conquer some type of beauty, something. It might be a super special effects look. It might be a um, just everyday look. It might be just eyebrows, just lashes, just something. We might have people on to try it with us. Caroline might shave off her eyebrows. We don't know. Episode eight. <laughs> no, we're not ready for that yet. It's going to be <laughs> literally at least if we get to episode 100, I will shave off my eyebrows. Oh, no, we should do if we get so many followers. Mm, mm, that's better. No, it's going to be more like if we hit 10,000 followers. 10,000. You heard it. I will shave off my eyebrows. 10,000 followers, guys. 10,000 followers. Caroline will shave off the brows. I will shave them off. And I know you're like, oh, well, we can't see that. Well, yeah, you can because this is all going to be on YouTube. It's all going to be on Instagram. I will full-fledged Jenna Marbles shave off my eyebrows. <laughs> write the word Nike. Yes. I will do it if we hit 10,000 followers. I'm working it down. I'm literally going to write this down. Oh, my gosh. You know what's sad? It's like now that I've said that, it's definitely going to happen. Yep. 10,000 followers, <laughs> shaved brows. <laughs> Don't write that down. It's on the paper. It's too down. late. Signed, still delivered. <laughs> the contract has been written. Well, so 10,000 followers on Instagram. So yes. follow us on Instagram. If you're not, we'll post our looks, some sneak peeks of episodes. Who knows what shenanigans we'll get into. Behind the scenes. All that junk. All that junk. Yes. Wake Maybe and make. some wiener dog pictures. Yes. We have a podcast mascot. Uh, oh, didn't even, we didn't even get into that. We will uh, <laughs> share that with you later. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the name of our Instagram? It is at Wake and Make Pod. So follow us at Wake and Make Pod Wake on Instagram and on Twitter. So Molly, when are we going to be posting episodes? When can everyone tune in to so this? So you can find our episodes on Wednesdays and Fridays. We're going to drop new episodes. So be sure to tune in. Um, and we want to hear from you. So if you've got questions, if you've got tips, if we're doing this thing wrong, <laughs> we don't know <laughs> how to put on makeup, uh, give, give your girls some tips because uh, we want to hear from you yeah, guys. Yeah, actually just email us to cyberbully us. That would be great. <laughs> cyberbully us into being better, please. Do better. <laughs> Oh, I love how I'm reading notes from my phone like an influencer who's saying sorry. Like, <laughs> like I'm already been canceled and I'm already saying my apology. This is where my episode notes are. <laughs> I love that. All right, are we ready to put some makeup on? Yeah, I think so. I kind of meant to start already. But Same. I, I guess forgot. we just kind of started talking. So for our first episode, we are putting on our everyday looks just as you kind of get to know um, Molly and I. We are... Keeping it simple, uh, keeping it fast, just what we put on every day. Molly's is a little bit more intense than mine. Listen, listen. <laughs> your girl loves makeup. What can I say? Um, Molly, what are your favorite um, beauty moments slash what do you think you're quote unquote good at in makeup? I would say lipstick. Yes. I love lipstick. So you never know. I might have on a bright color. Actually, that's mostly all I wear. <laughs> I was going to say a nude, maybe every once in a while. My uh, my look for today, my everyday look, I am going to go a little more on the not-so-bright side. But I think I do uh, lipstick pretty well and maybe an eyeshadow. Um, I like to experiment with colors. That's I mean, that's how I got started into makeup. Like, it's, yeah. it's literally something I can do every day and be creative. It I gives also, me that new canvas. I also just looked over at Molly, and she is putting on foundation and I just could never fathom doing that for my everyday look. So I just love how everyone's everyday looks are so different for the work day and like doing like everyone's makeup routine really is so different. 
And that's part of the fun of, I think, getting ready with people is you get to see and learn from what they are doing. So, oh yeah. And it evolves. Like I remember when I was younger, what I did and what I do today are completely different. Do you remember like when you first started wearing makeup? Um, I first started wearing makeup, man, I was, a. I feel like a late bloomer in the makeup world. <laughs> my sister, I used to love watching my sister put on makeup. She started in middle school. I started very badly in high school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that was mainly just cause I didn't really feel like I had time to, I feel like I started and when I was a sophomore in high school because I started really picking up a sports. And so I was like all waterproof, everything, but I had to be in front of people. So I wanted to, um, look kind of decent for that <laughs> yeah bit. when did you start wearing makeup so i started wearing makeup when i was in the fifth grade i've always just kind of been drawn to it i remember like fifth you were saying grade. dang dude now <laughs> it wasn't full face or even everyday look <laughs> can you I, imagine a fifth grader with that's crazy about social media though there are young kids who do that i know beat their face. and they every day so i was only allowed i could have powder and the nudist color of eyeshadow that like skin yeah. tone. <laughs> was, those, was that like your parents' rules? Well, that's just what I was told I could wear. I don't know. Honestly, I, I, I think your mom was doing you a favor probably. She, she probably was. was. Like, Let's not let this little girl walk around. And then, like and of course, like lip gloss, you know, that was always allowed. And then once I got into sixth grade, that's when mascara and eyeshadow and more like foundation, well, foundation in general. <laughs> Yeah. Became a thing because, you know, I didn't wear it before. So. And now, I don't know if you're, if you can remember this. I definitely can't. I have a terrible memory. Um, Do you remember the beauty industry ever being as big as it it has been right now slash how it has been since, I guess, YouTube? No, gosh. I mean, people wore makeup and I always thought people were looking for it, but you just didn't have all these influencers and you know youtube itself i mean i know youtube was around but i don't ever remember seeing as much hype and excitement about makeup yeah i feel that also in my everyday look for people who are watching this which won't be a ton i'm sure (laughs) um i have two huge pimples on my face and i have a slit cut in my eyebrow right now i'm not i don't have like a weird growth pattern in my eyebrow i have a slit cut in there because <laughs> that's what i've been doing because i've lost my mind during the rona um and the pimples they just are not going to be covered up with my everyday makeup so that's just how we're living just as a disclosure from me <laughs> yeah um so this is a very random question if you if this thing takes off and we really start interviewing people who would be your dream person to have on this podcast? Oh, gosh. I don't even know. Um, I, so, uh, Raw Beauty Chrissy. Yes. Yes. Amen. I don't know why that took me so long to say that, but um, I love Raw Beauty Christy. She just cracks me up. She's real. That's what we like. Yes. Um, maybe Makeup with Manny. Ooh, yeah. You mean Manny MUA? Oh, my God. She can never say his username, What did right? I say the other day? It was like Maui. I was like, you know, Ma- <laughs> no, Manny you Maui? said Manny Moi? I was, <laughs> I was like, Manny MUA? <laughs> I want to have him on there just so to his face you can call him the wrong name. <laughs> Manny Moi? <laughs> um, j- to jump in with my answers, which I hope that you will agree with. Okay, let's hear it. Jonathan Van Ness. Okay, okay. He is my Aries king. Yes. I love him to death. Um, I would die to have him on. and Or just talk to him in general. You hear that? You can just call us. We'll, we'll, we'll just yeah, it's just a straight line right onto the podcast. You don't even have to work to do anything, really. You could just just call, DM us. I'll sh- I will give you my personal cell phone number if you ever DM <laughs> the podcast. But... Um, no my impossible. other one, which is very random, is Rhea from Barstool Sports. Okay. But it's only because she has a wiener dog and I have a wiener oh. dog and we are both podcasting and I want our wiener dogs to have a play date. Cute. What would you guys do? Where would these dogs go? Uh, well, we would probably take them to a bridge, which is Dylan's favorite place ever. <laughs> um... Dylan is her husband. Yeah, I was about to say, maybe we should go back and do some intro questions about us, or <laughs> yeah, intro moments. Probably. 
Um, but yeah, we would probably go to a bridge, which is a local burger place here. And then probably find some cool dog park. We don't really go to dog parks because, um, we're in a panty. <laughs> so, um, not doing that right now. And then, um, yeah, just hang out. I was about to say her name is Blunt Thotty, so you could kind of imagine what we might do <laughs> if we get to that level wow. where I get to interview her. <laughs> I love that. That's hilarious. So, Molly, do you want to tell us a little about a bit about yourself? Sure. You know, I always hate talking about myself. It's hard, I but do. yes, I will. So, my name's Molly. In case you didn't know, go away, dude. <laughs> um. I am a photographer, videographer, creative person, artist, jack of all trades, <laughs> master of none. Oh. I, uh, I literally have wanted to collaborate with Caroline since, I don't know, years ago. <laughs> and it took a couple years, but we're here. <laughs> but I just... I just love having creative outlets and working with creative people. It's funny, though, because so I went to art school, funny enough. Um, they didn't have a degree for film at that time, so I had to kind of morph it into my own. So here I start school. I never considered myself a creative person. And I'm like, I can't even draw stick people. Like, how, how, why do I have to take drawing and painting, like all these classes? I remember being in elementary school, and I had oh, my art teacher, Miss Huxtable. <laughs> I can remember, you remember her by name. Huh? I, re- <laughs> I can see her in my face. If Miss Huxtable, if you're listening, I'm sorry for yelling at you. We would have these classes where we had to draw portraits. The nose is so hard to draw. I would just be furious. And so I never considered myself this creative person. But then I went to art school. <laughs> Turns out Miss Miss Huxtable's art class paid off. <laughs> Turns out Molly can't sit still. Molly is like one of the most creative people I know. <laughs> yeah, it turns out. So I I she's right. I like to stay busy. I like to try new things and I mean I have several friends, even you are like, how do you find time to do stuff? Mm-hmm. I just it's hard for me to sit still. I am Enneagram 7, for those Enneagram peeps out there. I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah, for, uh, for those peeps She's out there. She's learning about that right now. I'm learning. My, my friend Caroline's teaching me. Thanks. Well, so, who's yeah. Caroline? <laughs> who's Caroline? So, t- what about you? Um, so, I am, uh, Molly and I, first of all, we know through work. She's the work photographer and videographer, and I am the graphic designer. So, creative also by nature. Um, I... What about me? What about me? I hate doing these. Um, oh, she said ding ding. Let's turn that off. Oh my gosh, she said ding ding again. Leave us alone. We're busy. <laughs> um, I so yeah, Molly and I know through work, and I am the graphic designer at work. I am super duper work motivated. I love. I love working and I love to work outside of work. Um, I really just hang out with my husband, Dylan and, um, my pets. I have a wiener dog named Iroh. I have a cat named Bowie and another cat named Dio. Um, I had no choice in any of those names except for Bowie's. So don't make fun of me for them. Um, I know that they're (laughs) dumb, but that is my husband's choice, not mine. I have always been the odd bird out of my family. And I say this, with love in my heart for everyone in my family. They are all just science minded and I have never been that way. I'm also a middle child. So I feel the need to make myself different, um, on purpose, um, (laughs) just to get either attention or whatever. I am a drama queen as my parents would say. So I started, um, my creative track with uh, actually theater. I was actually a theater kid. I took a theater class in college. <laughs> I didn't do it in college. I did it elementary all the way through high oh, school. I love that. I love theater. Yeah. And so I started in theater and then I, um, had to really give it up for softball when I was in high school. And, uh, I went to college down in Mississippi, uh, cause I thought I wanted to do softball down there. I thought I was going to do walk. I thought I was going to walk on down there. And, um, I, that did not end up happening. I really wanted to rush a sorority and focus on school and like was just quite frankly burnt out on sports. And I went into college undecided, walked into my guidance counselor's office and she goes, 
or like I guess it's not a guidance counselor in college. It's like just your, your course advisor. advisor. Yeah. yeah. And she was like, she literally looked at a very intense drawing on the wall. And she was like, can you draw that? And I was like, no. And she's like, then you shouldn't be in an art program. And I was like, okay, well, can I take like an intro course? I'm undecided. So <laughs> I went and I took an intro course and I absolutely loved it. And then ended up transferring back closer to home to specifically do digital art at ETSU because I knew that traditional art wasn't for me. I just don't have the attention to detail or competitive nature to really hone those skills in. But like digital art is super fast paced, which Molly can attest to the fact that I'm a very quick and impulsive person, (laughs) which is I'm an Aries. So that makes sense. And Molly, you can jump in if you feel the same way. I feel like makeup is such a good creative outlet. Like it is not about covering up flaws or like covering up insecurities or anything like that. It is just, so much fun to sit and play with makeup yes I I love it like to me I'm not a huge hair person but I'll spend the time on my makeup because I just it's therapeutic yeah just taking that time and I sit down every day when I do my makeup I don't ever have like a plan (laughs) I just sit down and whatever comes to me whatever I'm feeling so I might have a more natural look or I might come out with purple and green eyeshadow and big bold lipstick it you know you just never know and there's I like it because in my opinion there's no rules to it it's what you make it and so if you want to do a really crazy look with cool eye liner and lashes I mean you can yeah I completely agree I think that a lot like you said hair like that is also something I don't think of because I just do the same thing every single day (laughs) but a lot of beauty and the things that you do to make yourself feel good and get ready in the morning are actually creative outlets. Like they are, they are something that is to be fun and have experimentation with and just kind of let it, let it flow. I mean, less so my everyday look because I'm like, I'm tired. I'm trying to get ready. But when I have the time to sit down and play, I just think that makeup is such a cool way to get some of that creativity out that I might not be, might not be using every day. (laughs) Yeah, I agree. And it's the one part of my day, even if I am in a hurry in a weird way, it's not, it's not stressful. Like even though there's no plan sometimes, (laughs) Uh it's still, it's not stressful. It allows time. It's like taking care of me first thing in the morning. It gives me that time to myself to get ready And, you know, experiment with my makeup and creativity. I'm I'm genuinely trying to think of an embarrassing makeup moment for me. And I'm not trying to sound pretentious. It's literally just like all of my younger years of makeup. I think that's a good one, though. I also think that something very embarrassing that I feel like a lot of us will look back on was my early college year eyebrows. Yeah. The blocky stuff was just starting to happen. And I was just starting to learn. And like right now I use brow. What do I use? I use, well, this is kind of, I technically right now I use eyeshadow for my brows. Oh, okay. Which is because I have black hair and when it fades out, I use the, did you just scoot it closer to me? <laughs> I did because I was so far away. <laughs> so I scooted it in. Um, which is I use eyeshadow because my hair is black. It's very dark and I don't, I don't want to buy gel every single time. So I am using eyeshadow, but when I first started, I was using pencil and it is really hard. Props to the girls who use props to the girls, gays and days who use pencil because honestly I could never figure out how to do it. Not blocky. Um, so that's embarrassing Um, another thing that's hard for me, which I would love to hear from other people if this happens to you with super pale skin, I have struggled so hard to find any type of makeup that doesn't oxidize on me. Yeah. So like, God, I can remember specifically a meeting in college that I went to because I used to be in a lot of clubs and I was trying out a new concealer and I came back and my under eyes were so orange. Oh no. Yeah. It's just like they, it just happens with mm-hmm. drugstore makeup. I've had to give up specifically. And this is not saying that 
please tell me people out there if you have a pale makeup that doesn't oxidize on you shoot it to our dm yes um because i have struggled i find the ones that work for me and honestly um my concealer and my foundation is kind of where i ball out on my makeup budget because Mm -hmm. it's just it's never going to work for me if it's not oh absolutely i agree 100 (laughs) percent. i've tried and i mean there are good there are some good substitutes out there but like you said like for me you know, I'm looking for makeup that I can wear eight hours a day at work. Mm-hmm. And so if two hours later it's oxidizable, then I don't want, I, I, then I don't I don't want, want it. I don't want that girl. <laughs> so I, I, I too have struggled with that. And that's why I tend to lean more towards your more expensive brands only because they don't oxidize. So my everyday look just really consists of um, concealer, some setting powder because I crease under my eyes really bad. And then um, bronzer, blush, and highlight, um, eyebrows, and mascara. That's it. I usually in my everyday look, I'm trying to get out the door super fast. Mm-hmm. I am not really worried about, like, I want to cover up the spots. Um, and most of the time I would, I'm pretty oily skinned, so I would set with setting spray. But um, lately I've been finding that the powder works fine on my concealer. So that is my everyday look. It's very, sh- very short and sweet and to the point. Yes. <laughs> I, um, I wear foundation and powder every day. I, I love foundation, (laughs) foundation and lipstick. Those are the two. So foundation for me, um, eyeshadow, mascara, some bronzer. Um, and then I do a, a, a subtle eyebrow. My headphones are coming off on my face. (laughs) Okay. So for my look, my everyday look. I normally do a full face every day, but if I'm in a hurry or just, you know, tired, as we all are sometimes when we wake up, uh, foundation, powder, mascara, eyeshadow, and um, a little bit of bronzer just to give some life to my pale skin. And I will also, I do a little bit of an eyebrow. It's very subtle. I feel like I got thick eyebrows, so I try not to bring too much attention to them. (laughs) Um, And that's it. You know, a little lipstick. And off I go. Yeah. We hope that you guys learned some stuff um, about the podcast. So <laughs> be sure to check out our next episode on Wake and Make Pos- Pasta. Be- <laughs> pasta, baby. <laughs> Hasta la pasta, baby. Hasta la pasta. <laughs> um, check us out on our next episode. We will be talking about full face phase. It's going to be the F episode. It's the F, F, F. F, F, Oh my gosh, that reminds me of what I was going to say. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you can go back and just shove it in there somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I am a potty mouth. Okay, people. This needs to be said in the first episode. I'm a, po- I'm a potty mouth. Stop <laughs> laughing at me. <laughs> and Molly is squeaky clean. Okay? Squeaky clean. She hasn't limited me, but I am becoming a better person. Because I'm friends with her. Uh, I am limiting myself to only using the word bitch. Okay? I'm glad I can influence you. (laughs) So if you... Here's the thing. If we hit 10,000 followers, like I said, I'm going to shave off my eyebrows. I'm going to make you cuss on the podcast. Okay! (laughs) I've never heard her cuss once. Not once. I'm going to make you cuss. I'm going to say it. Um, you might even just have to like, you can write it out. You don't even have to say it. You can just write the word I'll of your choosing. And I just want to see you. I just want to see you around yes. the cuss word that came out of you either in writing or in voice. So I love it. 10,000 followers. I will shave off my eyebrows and I will convince Molly somehow I mean, to say a cuss word. <laughs> shaved eyebrows might give me something to cuss about. Uh, <laughs> you going to be like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> Beep out the it that I just yes, said. Yes. <laughs> I was thinking earlier today. I was like, man, I wish I had one of those little like ring bells, like when you like go to the service count and you're like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I want one of those. Just like every time you cuss, dink. I'm just gonna dink it. <laughs> oh my god. I need that though. I really do. And it's like I said, so I'm giving myself the word bitch, and that's it. Is there but, a quantity amount per episode? No, I could literally be like that South Park episode where they. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> They try to say the most cuss words in a TV show, airing, whatever. Um, no limit on it, but just the word bitch. I like, okay, we support it. Um, also, if you think I should say all cuss words, I want 
the team Caroline people to say hashtag potty mouth in the comments because <laughs> yes. I'm a potty mouth and I want people, I want my fellow potty mouths to be out there representing me. Represent, not Miss Squeaky Clean over what here. What can my hashtag be? I need a hashtag. If you're, if Team Carol is hashtag potty mouth, <laughs> Team Molly hashtag squeaky clean. <laughs> oh my gosh, if that doesn't describe our friendship, I don't uh, know what does. <laughs> that is hilarious. She keeps me in line, people. I try to. She's wild. Hashtag boss woman for Molly. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Well, thanks for getting ready with us today, guys. Um, I would like to say hashtag wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. We will see you next episode. Yeah. Peace out. Peace.